Hello, welcome to Art of Card video number 5 where we are going to design the spar gears direct from the toolbox. This is Art of Card creative design of the future. So you can go here or control control N so we go direct to the assembly. Immediately the assembly loads, we are going to sketch the basic outline of the addendum circles. Cancel this dialog box. The addendum circle is just to guide you, sorry, to guide the design on how to place the spar gear. So we go to the front plane, sketch. So we sketch horizontally through the midpoint, through the origin, and make it for construction geometry. Then we take the midpoint, uh, the origin, and the construction geometry and make it midpoint. Then we give it a smart dimension of 200 millimeters. Then we sketch this, the circle from the outer points. So from here to here, the circle is automatically of diameter 200 millimeters. Radius 100 millimeters. Then exit the sketch. Go to the design library, load the toolbox add-in. So we are using metric, we go to metric, power transmission, gears, spar, sorry, spar gear. Now you, you choose the parameters. Remember, the module multiplied by the number of teeth is equivalent to the addendum circle. Module 5, number of teeth 40, 40 times 5, 200 millimeters. Pressure the angle 20 degrees, choose a face width of 25 millimeters. You can decide to put a hub or not a hub. Nominal shaft diameter, you can decide. Let's put 30. You can decide a keyway. Okay, but this is this is basic tutorial. Let's just click directly. Then place the second gear and click the red cross. So first of all, we take the initial spar gear and make it float because since it is the first part solidworks automatically fixes it you see it by the letter f here you see f this is a fixed object if it's a it has a blank that's a floating object it can be moved easily float so we take the front plane and this face we go to here met drop this one here front plane and this one tick front plane again and this face tick okay so now we met this point remember on the construction line on the construction line and this circle here and then make it concentric same for this other spa gear make it concentric okay so now we can see the basically oh sorry before i forget hide the sketch so now we can see basically if i move this one with the move component so go to physical dynamics instead of the standard drag if I move this one, oh wait, wait, I'm sorry. This is coincident. Edit this one and make it concentric. Sorry for that. So if I move this one, control eight to make a normal view. Let's use physical dynamics moves everything in relative to each other. You can see the movement. Okay. So now let's put in there gear mat. Go to mat. Close everything and go direct to mechanical mat. Select gear mat. Choose these two circles. The hub diameters. We are using the hub diameters to guide us. Click OK. Close this one. Now you see if I move this one 
I don't need to go to the physical dynamics, just a standard drag will show it. Okay. Then you go to motion study. You can choose uh, what kind of motion you are studying. So we place the length to five mil five seconds. Put a rotary motor, let's say on this face. You can toggle uh, the direction this way, that way, how you want it to be, the RPM. Bef we can make the frame rate about 25, which is optimum for the human eye. And calculate. Or we just use about seventeen is enough. Thank you. Subscribe. Don't forget to share and like.